to God Style Designs. My name's Pat. My channel is all about leather. Techniques, supplies, tools, designs, applique, braiding, and much more. Since I use fairly sharp and dangerous equipment and tools, this channel is for adults. If you like my video, please push the thumbs up button below and subscribe. Thanks, and let's get on with the video. Today's video is about how to make leather and rawhide braiding soap or conditioner. Why do we need braiding soap? Soap is needed to allow leather or rawhide strands to slide into place when braiding or doing applique work. Making your lace slide easier lessens the chance of the lace stretching out or breaking since you don't have to pull so hard. When working a round braid, the lace will also lie flatter when rolling if you use soap. I have tried four major types of braiding soap. The first is mostly store-bought, but it contains petroleum products, which I don't want to soak my hands in when braiding. The consistency is very close to the three recipes we are going to make. I have used all of the last three with good results and I will show you how to make them. The first two with oil or lard are also a conditioner. The last glycerin base does not have the added oil so might be best for making things like hat bands and applique since it would not be as apt to stain. You should always test if you will be putting your finished product on something else. I recommend ivory soap since it's pure soap. Do not use bath soap or detergent. Some of the other pure soaps may also contain a lot of fragrance, which is not what I want my braiding to smell like. Lastly, some recipes call for Fells naphtha as the soap. I do not use it since it has a lot of chemicals in it. Remember this solution will be all over your hands possibly for hours while braiding. All recipes are very easy to make. I made all three for this video. You will need a bowl or a pan for the stove, a cheese grater, measuring cup, spoon, and kitchen whisk. You will need a jar with a lid to store your soap in. Just think, you too can qualify for some really great ice cream if it comes in the right container with a lid. <laughs> Let's start with the easiest one first. Glycerin based no cook soap. Glycerin braiding soap. It helps to have a picture of what you're going to use. Ingredients for glycerin based no cook braiding soap are a bar of ivory soap, to get the one that's about four ounces, glycerin saddle soap, a bar of that, and you won't use the whole thing, boiling hot water to cover. Steps for glycerin based braiding soap. First you grate the equal parts of the ivory soap and the glycerin saddle soap. You can make a smaller batch to start if you want to. Add enough hot water to cover the soap in a larger mixing bowl and make sure the water is boiling hot or it will start to set up before you get it mixed. Mix till the soap is dissolved. A whisk works better than a spoon. Pour in container quickly before it cools or the mixture will set up. It will dry almost to bar consistency later on and will not be as soft as the other recipes since it does not have the oil ingredient. When using this recipe, you will need to either spray or use a brush to add water and work up a foam if it's dried out. Use the foam to coat your leather or rawhide for braiding. Here's the finished product. The only reason it's not as smooth is I waited too long to put it in the container like I told you not to do and it was starting to set up. It's still very usable and mixed well. Since we are not cooking on the stove, the soap will start to cool rapidly 
so mix quickly and put right in the container. Leave the lid off for a couple of days, but then keep it on unless braiding to avoid drying out. My containers have nice lids and justify my need to buy gelato ice cream. Lard-based soap or conditioner. Here's a picture of what you'll need to make it. I wanted to add the picture so you knew what kind of lard to get and kind of what the bar of soap looked like. The ingredients for lard-based braiding soap is, I just made a smaller batch of this, a half bar of ivory soap, which was approximately four ounces, three quarters cups of water, and a half pound of lard, which was only a half of the small box. The steps for lard-based braiding soap are you want to grate the soap up, you add the water to the pot, put it on the stove, and bring it to medium heat, but don't boil it. If you, in case you wonder why I'm saying don't boil any of this, is it will very quickly boil over the top of your pot. Okay, so slowly add grated soap and stir consistently till soap is dissolved. It works better, you can see my kitchen whisk there, it works better than a spoon. Just be careful you don't get too aggressive right at first because it's very a very hot solution of uh, soap and it will burn you. Add the lard to the soap and water, stirring constantly until there are no lumps left. And again, don't let it boil. Then you remove from the heat and pour into your containers. You want to stir it every few minutes and to cool this soap takes about 15 to 30 minutes before you want to pour it into a plastic jar because it's very hot. Let the containers cool before putting the lids on. Keep the lids on when you're not using your braiding soap so it won't dry out. Here are some of the pictures of the finished braiding soap and the one is in the middle is lard based. The last soap we're going to make is coconut based soap or conditioner and you can see the picture of the coconut oil that I used, Luana. It comes in a fairly big jar and a double pack and it's not a bad price and great to cook with also. Uh, you can get it at the larger stores or Walmart if you have one of those. Ingredients for the coconut oil based braiding soap are the ivory bar soap, three quarters cups of water, eight ounces of coconut oil. And I would say don't use the organic or it will really reek of the coconut fragrance and you might not want your leather goods to smell like that. Next are the steps that we need to take and we need to grate the bar of soap, add the water to the pot, bring to medium heat, slowly add the grated soap and stir consistently till the soap is dissolved. A kitchen whisk works much better than a spoon but be careful how aggressive you get with it since it is going to be hot and it will burn you if it splatters. Next Slowly add the coconut oil to the soap and stir very well again. Don't let it boil or it will boil over your pot very easily. Remove from heat and keep stirring it oh, every few minutes and until you've cooled it for about 15 to 30 minutes and then put the mixture in your jars and wait about oh, a couple of days and then put the lid on and keep the lid on so it doesn't dry out. A note on the coconut oil, it's actually a consistency of shortening until it gets over about 80 degrees and then just sitting in your cabinet it will turn to an oil. But it will go back again to the consistency of shortening uh, when it gets cooler, say 70 degrees. So just so you know, it's not really uh, an oil unless it gets hotter. Here are our completed projects, all three different braiding soaps. 
and all of them work very well. It just depends on what you have or you like to use the best. So try one or all of the recipes and let me know what you think. Stay tuned for my edge braiding and applique videos where we're going to use the braiding soap. My next video will deal with how to prepare the lace for braiding by splitting and beveling. I'll try and post a new video every week. Subjects will contain lots of other leather techniques and information. Thanks for watching. Here's a sample of some of the things that I've made using braiding soap. And I wanted to show you, just in case you don't know, how to put the braiding soap on your lace, or at least how I do it anyway, is you take the lace. Here's the new soap that we just made. This one's made out of lard. You put it down touching the braiding soap and pull it through. Turn it around so you can do the opposite side and pull that through. Then just take your fingers and pull the soap down over your lace so it's even. And then you're ready to lace your project. And you can do items like this where you have to pull the lace underneath and over and under and around and it will slide very easily and, and uh, it will also tighten very well. So that's what you use the braiding soap for and I use it every time I work on it with any lace. If you like this video, please push the thumbs up button below and the subscribe button so I will know people like the videos and find them useful. Thanks! Thank you.